Let's multiply polynomial functions. And so uh, our general rule is, if we have f of x and we want to times it by g of x, we're going to create a new function, f times g of x. So let's start with an example of f of x equals 2x plus 5, and g of x equals x squared minus 7x plus 5. So f times g of x is 2x plus 5 times x squared minus 7x plus 5. So we're going to multiply a trinomial by a binomial. And so I'm going to kind of steal from factoring a little bit. And I'm going to do the 2x squared, or 2x times x squared, which will give me 2x cubed, minus 14x squared plus 10x. And then I'm going to come around the bottom and do 5 times x squared, which is 5x squared. Notice I'm lining it up, minus 35x plus 25. When I combine like terms, I get 2x cubed minus 9x squared, minus 25x, plus 25, and here is my result. So multiplying polynomial functions is very similar to multiplying polynomials. Now just to build off that a little bit, suppose I have f of x equals x squared plus 5x, and I want to know what f of x plus 3 is in its function form. So Anywhere I see an x, I'm going to replace with x plus 3. So we're going to square it, and then we're going to add 5 times x plus 3. And so this is a perfect square trinomial, so we're going to get x squared plus 2 times 3 times x plus 3 squared, and then we're going to add 5 times x plus 3. So now we'll get rid of the parentheses. This is an x squared plus 6x plus 9 plus 5x plus 15. Let's make that look like a better 5. Combine like terms, and we get x squared plus 11x plus 24. So here is the result of having evaluated f of x at f of x plus 3, at x plus 3.